Hi, I'm Amanda from Groovy Babies and today we're going to talk about a topic that many of my clients come to me about which is my baby hates my, hates his cot or her cot. Now there are a couple of reasons why babies do resist going into uh, a different sleep surface and mainly the first one is that the baby is not really that familiar with maybe the cot. The baby often feels uh, quite lost in a large environment. Uh, sometimes it happens when you're moving or transitioning a baby from uh, one room to another and the other reason is that you may have recently been away on holidays and the child has formed uh, new sleep habits um, from sleeping in a different environment. So you know first things first is really when you're popping your baby down into um, the cot just check your emotions and your behavior in regards to your bub. You know are you feeling stressed or anxious about your baby going down? Um, if your baby if he starts to resist, do you, know, do you feel like you need to rescue your child? So a couple of quick tips on um, acclimation is that you need to introduce your child in a fun, relaxing, non-threatening way at not at sleep time. So, you know, go into your baby's new sleep environment, play games like peekaboo, disappearing, um, you know, if you're introducing a, a new sleep um, uh, snuggly, all of this needs to be done not at sleep time. So the transition, you know, for emotional well-being can be done fairly slowly over a period of three to five days. And, you know, just be wary of your expectation. Babies love what is familiar. They don't seek out the unfamiliar and especially for toddlers as well. So transition can, um, you know, be prepared that transition can take a little while longer. Um, you know, also, is your baby better or worse with someone else popping them to bed? Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed those tips. You need to work on the emotional well-being surrounding happy transitioning. And, uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to touch base. Amanda at groovybabies.com.au. Thanks.